All right, this will be a quick tutorial on how to set up That's My Best for looting and wrath -lutching. First, you'll sign in with Discord. Once you sign in Discord, you should get an automatic population of the last coal guilds for TBC and Wrath, and you'll have a button that says Join Guild. Once you have joined the guild, you hit Create Character. And on this screen, you'll go ahead and fill in your character's name. This part right here will be your Discord name. It should automatically populate. Then you'll fill in your class. Spec. Race. And then you'll select which group you're rating for, which in this case will be weekend. And then your general raid group will also be weekend. Uh, from here, you can go ahead and set your two professions. This will be important because that's my best. We'll also track any recipes and rare recipes you have. At the bottom here, you can select if this is an alt character or not. And once you are done, go ahead and click save. All right, now that we're on the character edit sheet, we'll go ahead and see everything up here, our name, level, what professions we are, part of which group. And then we'll just click wish list. Here at the top, we'll have the priority list. This is where legendaries will go once we assign them. And here is your wish list. You'll go ahead and just type something in. It should automatically populate with a list of items. Now, be careful. These items are not specific to the current raid tier, so you will have to be looking for what you're getting. Once you find what you want, go ahead and add it to the list. And it should automatically put it on the list there. So now that is currently in slot one for your priority. And let's go ahead and add a couple extra items here real quick. And now we have our current list. So these will be in order from one, two, three, and four for where you want it. And at any point, you can grab this, move them, change their order, what you think is most important for you to get. Here, you can mark if the item is an off spec, and here you can mark if the item has been received. You can fill in any items you have down here that you have received in the past, and then click Save. And now you have created your wish list for the raid. And that is pretty much it. And now that we know how to make our wish list, let's give a quick example of what this will look like in game. If you have the add on installed, whenever a piece of gear drops, you'll now be able to see who has it wish listed and in which order they have it wish listed. Looking at this item, we can see that two people have it wish listed. One person has it in their number one slot of their wish list, and one person has it in their number three slot of their wish list. In this situation, the person in the number one slot is automatically awarded the gear. Now looking at an example where two people have the same item in the same spot on their wish list, in a situation like this, it will simply come down to a roll. The winner of the roll will be rewarded the item and the loser will remain in the same position as they were. And now to briefly touch upon the rules that we'll be using for this new system. All loot lists must be submitted before the start of the first official raid of the phase. If you do not have a loot list submitted at the time of raid, you simply will have zero priority on all gear. With the exception of late loot list, once the first raid starts, all loot lists will be locked for the remainder of the phase. For fairness, anyone who is slotted to get a legendary item will place that legendary item as number one in their wish list. Any raider who has multiple non-planned absences will result in a lower priority. This simply means that all your numbers will be increased by one. One will become two, two will become three, and so on. And any raider joining late in the phase depending on how late, will have their positions moved one to two slots lower in priority. The primary reasons we are swapping this new loot system 
is because it allows you to pick up your second BIS without the consequences of losing your first BIS item. By simply putting your second BIS on a lower priority, you can win it and still maintain your high priority on your main BIS item. This should allow faster and more efficient gearing and prevent people from holding onto DKP and not gearing themselves up at all.